So any um, betting implications here, Ken, that you think are noteworthy from Christian McCaffrey heading from Carolina now to San Francisco? Yeah, and, the, and I'll loop one other one in and we'll kind of take them as they come. Uh, he has been reinstalled as the second choice to win comeback player of the year in a lot of markets uh, right behind Saquon Barkley, basically. So Saquon, I think consensus has been holding at like minus 200, minus 225. Uh, in several places, McCaffrey is ahead of Geno Smith now to uh, to be the second choice to win comeback player of the year, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, let's do the Niners first, and then we'll do the player-driven markets. Um, before the year, uh, I had that short list of teams – that kind of checked every box going into the season, historical Super Bowl champions. What do they look like going into the year? How did they play the year before? How were they in all these relevant statistics? Um, and the Niners were on that very short list. There were seven teams, uh, two in the AFC. Was it three and four or two and five? Whatever it was. There was like seven teams, maybe eight. And the Niners were on that short list. So kind of in this season, what I've tried to do is like sort of pay extra close attention to those seven, eight teams. Like, are there spots to buy on them? That's one of the reasons why we bought Dallas when we bought them. Um, Cause they made a lot of sense at like 50 to one to win the Super Bowl, And now they're 20. Uh, you know, the Niners do check every box, like going into the year as a Super Bowl winner. And now they've made their team a lot better. They're also in a really interesting buy period because they're really injured right now, but they're not injured in a way aside from Emmanuel Mosley that should impact them eight weeks from now or something or six weeks from now where it's like, all right, what is this team going to be? Thanksgiving. What does the team look like on Thanksgiving? That's a good, it's about a little more than a month from now. What does the team look like on Thanksgiving? Okay. It's Garoppolo. It's McCaffrey. It's Trent Williams back. It's Kittle and Ayuk and Debo Samuel. It's the defense, hopefully healthier with Bosa playing and Jimmy Ward playing. And it's like, all right, I, this team's pretty awesome. <laughs> like this team seems like they're pretty, they're pretty great. Um, now did adding McCaffrey really change anything I just said? Maybe it like augments it or like helps it a little bit. And because of course it does, like he's at least a, a some kind of an upgrade at the running back group. For me, it's more like I like the Niners more for what I'm going to get from them a month from now, like across the board. McCaffrey is just a part of why San Francisco is interesting. It's like just because this isn't the fully formed version of them. They're too injured right now. And on Thanksgiving or a few weeks after, what are they going to look like? I think they're going to look like one of the best three or four teams in the league, or at least how I would consider one of the three or four teams most likely to win the Super Bowl. So th does this addition help that? Yes. Did I kind of like this team as like a buy pretty soon anyway, maybe after this week because they play Kansas City? Uh, yes. So, I, you know, McCaffrey just it kind of like just boosted a position that I was probably interested in anyway. Yeah, I think it's like kind of like a, a nebulous sort of like, what does McCaffrey do? Right. He's obviously awesome, but he's also joining an offense. It's funny, right? Because his dad, like, and I know this story has been getting shared, but his dad played for Mike Shanahan in Denver, Ed yep. McCaffrey, right? So now Christian's going to play for 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 Mike's son, Kyle. But we have seen both Shanahan the younger and Shanahan the elder take you know, curtain jerk and jabroni running backs, take any running back off the scrap heap, and he can be a thousand yard rusher in this offense. We've seen it like Elijah Mitchell was an afterthought, like sixth round pick last year, starting in the NFC championship game. So now like McCaffrey goes into an offense where the running backs are awesome in the offense. Like McCaffrey's going to be awesome. Also like Jeff Wilson was also was awesome in the offense, right? Elijah Mitchell was awesome in the offense. Alandis Gary, Mike Anderson, you know, go on. The, uh, the, who was uh, the, who was the watch? Alfred Morris. How many running backs have we seen in the Shanahan system be able to get the job yeah. done? So for me, it's almost like when will Christian McCaffrey make an actual impact? I think it's, NFC Championship game against the Rams. Need someone to make a play. Garoppolo under duress. Here, Christian McCaffrey, go get a big first down for us. And I don't think you can right. quantify something like that, Ken, in like the betting market. I don't really know sure. that there's much to do here off of this move. My personal opinion here, where McCaffrey's going to go to a team where running backs are always successful. What position does he play? Running back. He's awesome, yes. But also, like, not awesome running backs are great and produce in the Shanahan system.